The second this guy scored his second touchdown yesterday in the Super Bowl, I took down this card, raised it 10 bucks, and it sold almost instantly. Hey guys, Carried American Arbitrage here. I want to go over what I've sold the last couple of days. Sold this DC Universe Batman right here. Now remember, with the DC Universe figures, they bend at the waist. So do the Marvel uh, Legend figures. That makes them a little bit better than, say, a figure like this that doesn't bend on the waist. I sold him as well. I'll tell you in a moment. Um, this one sold for $15 plus shipping. I believe I got him in like a 4 or $5 toy bag. So not bad at all. I love DC stuff. I love Marvel stuff. Here's that Steppenwolf figure I was talking about that doesn't bend at the waist. He sold today for $6.25 plus shipping. I paid no more than about a buck fifty, probably a dollar for him. I got him at the DI, um, not in a bag, but um, if it's a decent figure, this is a little bit larger than a normal figure. I'm gonna pick it up. It's a good character from one of the newer Justice League movies. This is a Damian Williams autograph rookie card from 2014. He did play for the Dolphins, but if you were watching the Super Bowl yesterday, he was the running back for the Kansas City Chiefs. That's where he plays now. He scored two touchdowns. Now, I have this listed. I bought it for $5 on Saturday, and I posted it for 16 plus shipping, which was about the low end of the market. And after he scored that second touchdown, I had gotten some offers throughout the game. But when he scored that second touchdown, I took down this card and I reposted it at $10 higher or $9 higher at 25 plus shipping. It sold in three minutes at full price. And that is the power of the Super Bowl or big games. When you have the right player, you can sell these cards. You can get them cheap. Um, I got them for $5 because it was the local card shop. He didn't have any Kansas City fans to sell it to. Um, we're in Utah. And um, he doesn't do eBay, and that's his loss. He could have made a few dollars, but I made 25 plus shipping. Now, here's something that's sold that I've talked about before, stadium giveaways. This is a Frank Layden from the Utah Jazz. He was the old coach. This sold for $15 plus shipping. I paid, goodness, probably just a couple bucks at the DI for this. This took about six weeks to sell, six or seven weeks to sell. I've sold these before. I've had a Carl Malone one, uh, the same variety. Uh, I think a John Stockton or some other player as well. Same variety. Uh, they sell well, and um, they sit for a little bit, but they do make a decent product. Whenever I get the chance to find some cool retro goodness, I love to sell it. This is a 1981 or 82 Great Gonzo. It's a dress-up Muppet doll. They did a whole bunch of these back then. I've sold some of the clothes before, but this is the first time I've ever sold one of the dolls. Um, it's not new in the package. It's I just said it was used with a, a package as well that came with it that was a little bit beat up. I bought this for $5. I had it up for a little bit more, but I sold it for 20 plus shipping. It took me about a week and a half. Really, really awesome piece. I love vintage I toys. Card here. This is a Derrick Henry rookie card from the Tennessee Titans. It was numbered to 249, so it is fairly rare. Um, Crown Royal, unfortunately, is not the best brand for sports cards. It's average or below average. So this sold for $5 plus shipping. I got this in one of my boxes of sports cards that I buy in a Titans box that I paid about 15 bucks for. So this is just one card from that two, 300 count box of cards. And this sold for $5 plus. Shipping. Now at the end of last week, I came into a major yo-yo score. I bought probably about 22, 23 yo-yos at 75 cents to a dollar each. And I've so far made probably about $100 on those. I've sold, which I don't have. They've already been packed up and shipped out. I've sold three yo-yo watches. They're all brand new, um, sealed in the package. These yo-yo watches went for $25, $25, and the last one went for $40. Um, so I, I made a, a great amount of money on those. And here's some of the ones that I haven't packed yet, uh, packed yet that have sold. This yo-yo uh, X-Brain Yomega right there. Um, this one I think I paid 75 cents for. It sold for $9 plus shipping. This Red Yomega Brain watch right here from the late 90s. They're all from the late 90s. This one sold for $8 plus shipping. This one sold by itself. And lastly, I sold this lot of three um, for $18 plus shipping. The Yellow Brain, the Blue version, the Brain right there. And then lastly, the Green Fireball. Um, they're all Yomega vintage late 90s goodness right here and they sell really well i got them because the price was so good 75 cents i bought 20 of them the first day for 75 cents went to the to the di to the thrift store the next day found two more at a dollar a piece i believe or three more at a dollar a piece i bought those because i'd already made like 60 70 dollars the day before i did not think they would sell as fast as they did i knew that price was right they would sell over time but they've been really popular so look at out for new in the package wa um not watches yo-yos watches as well if you find them. So this lot of octonaut figures and vehicles right here 
got a bunch of vehicles and a bunch of figures. I got it in a $4 bag at the DI and I sold them for $20 plus shipping. I initially had them for $30 plus shipping, but somebody decided to give me a halfway decent offer of 20. And I don't like to sit on stuff. I want stuff to churn and burn. So I moved it out and I sold it for 20 bucks plus. Now this is a vintage toy bolo that I find all the time. Real Ghostbuster figures. I probably sold about six of these over the years. Um, they typically go for about three or four dollars each. I usually find them in lots. Unfortunately, I just had this one by himself, so I sold them for three plus shipping. Um, but usually if you have four or five, you're going to get 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 dollars, something like that. So these sell really well. This guy's, his eyes pop out, as you can see. Really cool vintage 80s toy that I find a lot and I think you could find as well. Now here's a little sports card reseller pro tip here. The MLB Top 100 list uh, for 2020 just came out last week. Now I looked over that list and saw what kind of cards I had from the players that, you know, went up on that list. And I realized that I had this Lou. Uh, Lewis Robert rookie from just a couple years ago. Now I have hundreds of cards from different years that I've, you know, bought in box lots and stuff like that, that I just kind of wait to see if they turn into anything. Now this guy, Lewis Roberts is, like I said, I think I said that the third rated prospect in the MLB 100 right now for the White Sox. And he sold, this is his most basic rookie card you can get. It's not shiny. It doesn't, it's not numbered or anything. This sold for 250 plus 349 shipping and it sold pretty quickly. Next up, we have a cool toy that we got from a $25 lot garage selling down in St. George. Now, I wasn't able to go to St. George this time, unfortunately. I had work, so she spent $25 and got a bunch of toys. We've done really good already, and this is one of the toys that is sold. This is a Wonder Woman um, kind of Barbie doll here. Um, it sold for $7.50 plus shipping. She spent $25 on all the toys. She got two SpongeBob's um, pirate ships that are from about six, seven years ago. We sold one of those. They're both new. We sold one already for 42 plus shipping. So we're already in the profit. We have more to go. Some Dragon Ball Z stuff, some cool stuff. So this, this did pretty well. 750 plus shipping. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, it would mean the world to me. Um, I love doing these videos. I love sharing what I find and what I sell with you. So if you could take the time to like and subscribe, it would mean so much. Thank you guys. Take care.